And moving on, a candid admission, a police uh, admission to NDTV. In Mangalore, a 15-year-old girl is pushed to kill herself after alleged Saffron Brigade activists harassed her and humiliated her. Her crime being in the company of Muslim boys. It's been four days and now the police admit to NDTV they're treading carefully because they fear a communal flare-up. Radhika Ayer explains this deadly communal divide and why no action has been taken against the guilty. The Mangalore police have admitted they are scared to question, let alone arrest the men who led 15-year-old Ashwini to commit suicide last Wednesday. Ashwini's fault was that she and her friends Mahadevi, Salim and Rafiq were caught and thrashed by men alleged to be Badrangdal activists. Unable to bear the humiliation of being assaulted, Ashwini committed suicide. Five days on, the police has not arrested any of the attackers. If you bring someone, it, situation is like this here, if you bring someone to the station, the real accused, and if he is let off, it's just one hour time. Within one hour, the entire district will come to know, in this police station, this real accused was brought, then he was let off. And you will have a communal flare-up. Praveen Hegde, Pranesh, Satish, Ashok, Jairaj are alleged attackers as mentioned by Rafiq, victim and eyewitness in the case. They dragged Ashwini and her friend Salim to the Mulki police station 40 kilometers from Mangalore. Some are worried about the police's open reluctance to take action in communally sensitive cases. Today, the people who are heading police forces in various parts of the country are handpicked by politicians uh, for various reasons, other than their reputation for integrity, for their professional competence. So, if you have such people heading police forces, not only at the highest level, but at various level, at the police station level, at the district level. These people believe that uh, it is their bounden duty to be politically correct. Now, whether it is this moral policing or whether it is uh, communal uh, um, incidents, we see that the police is hesitating. So the government is to be blamed. The police are to be blamed. The, the, the whole in, entire administration is to be blamed. If this is the way they're going to act in the next two or three months till the elections are over the girls in general majority minority whoever are not going to be safe sources in the karnataka police admitted to ndtv that the department is on tenter hooks for the next two months ahead of the general elections fearing such violent incidents aimed at triggering disharmony particularly in this state and in the south coastal belt which has a strong presence of the saffron brigade as well as a sizable population of the minority communities in mangalore with camera person kumar radhika ayer ndtv